For those about to geek, we salute you! Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hot Toys Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here, we have a nice picture of Captain in action pose, you got the big Avengers A. A Avengers Age of Ultron. On the side here, you have the logo with Captain America shield. On the other side, Captain America on the top, Captain America on the bottom, Age of Ultron. And of course, you can open up the box right here, and this is where the toy will sit. And on the side, you have that same logo there with the shield, Captain America. On the back, you have the credits of all the people that are responsible for the production of this toy. And that's basically it for the packaging. Again, I don't throw Hot Toys boxes new. No, I keep those. I keep them. <laughs> but moving right along. Here we have a Captain America, and I love this figure. I really love this, this suit for Captain America. I think this is my favorite suit for Captain America in all of the movies he's been in. Um, this is definitely my favorite of his suits. I love the design of this suit. It is just amazing. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at all the details here. Look at the head sculpt. The head sculpt, again, wonderfully done. Just looks so, so good. Looks amazing. Um, I love the texture work here in the helmet. Just looks great. So you get some silver paint apps here just to pick some details out. You got the A, A right there <laughs> on his head. And um, just really, really nicely done. Head sculpt all around. I always love the paint work they do to the eyes. The eyes, like, you know, the eyes almost look alive. And that's really amazing how well they do the eyes on these figures but um yeah just all around very cool the chin strap here just lots of nice details wonderful paint work so cool and the suit itself just looks amazing you got the star right there that is a, uh, a hard plastic um you got the straps right here on his shoulders uh he does have a little avenger symbol on his shoulder there and uh just the stitching work and the detail on the suit is fantastic. Just replicated so, so well um, from the suit used in the movie. Very cool. Look at the belt here. The belt is done very, very nicely. All little pouches and everything. The pouches don't actually open, but still they're very nicely molded, nicely painted, and just look great. And again, the detail work in the suit as a whole just looks amazing. Got a little bit of red going down the sides here. Uh, the knee pads here are a hard plastic. And down to the boots here. The boots again, wonderfully plain, wonderfully painted, rather, not wonderfully... I can't even recreate my mess up. <laughs> I said wonderfully painted. No, wonderfully painted. That's what happens when your tongue stops working. But, um... Again, the, the, the detail in the boots is just phenomenal, really cool. A little bit of red paint. And, and the boots themselves do have a nice weather effect. And they do have some actual, like, you know, some dirt splattered on there and some smudges and scuffs. Um, look very cool. And even the soles of the boots are nicely detailed. And, um, yeah, again, just a wonderfully, wonderfully done figure. Just looks so, so good. Of course, you have this back piece here that holds the straps together. Um, these little elbow pads are also a hard plastic. Um, but again, wonderfully done. You got the detail here in the gloves. Again, just the amount of detail and the level of paintwork. Is, it just looks amazing. Simply, simply amazing. And the detail is hands and even the fingernails are molded. Just wonderfully, wonderfully done all around. Now, articulation-wise, his head can... Uh, the, the head is on a joint at the base of the neck. It's on a ball joint, so you can get some good wiggly wiggly. I'm the cap! I'm the cap! What you gonna do? Because I'm the cap! That, you can get him doing all that. Of course, the arms can do a full 360, but again, you do have to be careful with the suit, so try not to push things too far. Um, you can get him pretty much... Pretty much get the arm going all the way forward. You can get it moving a good ways back. Um, outward movement. 
pretty much full outward movement right there. You do get a swivel right here at the arm. You do get an elbow joint with about 90 degrees of bend. Again, I wouldn't push it any further than that just because of the way the suit is stitched. Um, and the hands do swivel. They swivel at the glove, so that's all you get is a swivel. It does have an ab crunch. You do get rotation, but again, it is limited due to the suit's uh, legs can go forward, only about that much backwards, not that much, only about that much backward movement. Outward movement, that's pretty much as, that's as much splittage as you're going to get there. Again, you don't want to push things too far, because you don't want to end up ripping anything. You do actually get a thigh swivel. You get double jointed knee, with nice full range of movement there, nothing hindered there. Um, mainly because you end up pulling his pants out of his boots. <laughs> get back in there. Tuck your pants back in. Tuck, 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 tuck your pants back in. Get down there. So you do get a swivel at the boot itself, and you do get some upward and downward movement on the foot, and even some ankle tilt. So. Again, the, the, the suits do kind of limit the posability. But still, you can, you know, for the, for the most part, you can get them any pose you want to get them into. Now, of course, this being a Hot Toys release, it does come with a bunch of accessories. So the first thing you get here is the base, which is nicely done. I really like the uh, the artwork here on the base. Very cool. You get the Avengers A there with Captain America shield in the background. You get the nice name plates right there. Avengers, Age of Ultron, Captain America. If you notice all the scratches and stuff on here, that's not the plate that's self-scratched. It's just that I leave the little, uh, I leave the plastic film on it. Just to protect them, you can see it's nice and pristine under there. But um, I don't use the bases, I just put them back in the box. But, uh, you know, I, I just leave the little plastic film on there just to protect it. But yeah, very cool base. And of course it comes with the little cradle that you just plug in right there. And you can just take them and plop them on the stand and then just raise this up so it nestles his crotch ever so gently. <laughs> Well, that's what you're doing. This goes right in between his legs there. And holds him in place. There you go. Just like that. Definitely add to the display, but I, I don't use the bases just because they take up a little bit more space than I have, so. Luckily, these figures can't stand on their own. But there you go. He does come with extra hands. He comes with... Two of these are gripping hands, right here, and these hands have more of a more of a closed grip, right there. And again, same amount of paintwork, same amount of detail. Very very nicely done. He comes with two hands for holding his uh, for holding a shield right here. You see, these have more of an open grip, right here. And again, same amount of paintwork, same amount of detail. They look great. And these hands do have magnets in them, and we will show this off in a little bit. And then we have a splayed out hand right here. And again, same amount of paintwork and detail. Looks wonderful. And you also get a, uh, like, shield cupping hand. That's the best way I can describe it right there. <laughs> or he's pretending his hand is a duck. Wah, 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 wah. I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyway, again, same amount of detail, same amount of wonderful paintwork on this. So you have that. He also, of course, duh, comes with his shield, and the shield is just gorgeous. I love it. And it is, uh, it is metal, and uh, very, very cool. Love the paintwork on it. Very nice, very nice. And the instructions do tell you to be careful with this because the paint, the paint apparently can chip off. So do be careful with the shield itself. But it looks wonderful. And on the other side, again, lots of nice detailing on the inside here. You also get these handles on either side that will flip up if you need them. Right there. And yay! So there you have that. He does come with an extra head. He comes with... A, uh, a maskless, helmetless face right here. And uh, there you go. Looks very nice. Very, very nice uh, likeness to, uh, to Chris Evans. Looks really good. Again, nice paintwork and detail in the hair. And yeah. I think it's a good likeness to Chris Evans. 
I think it works. I think it does him justice. Let's all cap. Anyway. <laughs> Fierce gaze. Fierce gaze. Anyway. But yeah, there's your decapitated Chris Evans head, and we'll show that off in a little bit. And since you do have a, uh, a helmetless head, you get just the helmet by itself. And again, just as detailed and uh, nicely painted as the one on that head sculpt. And yeah, there you go. Very, very cool. And of course, you do get a pair of replacement wrist pegs in case you break anything. That's always nice. And you get this little tool here to use for tidying up his collar when you swap the heads. And we'll show that off too. Um, so let's get down to it and let's just start showing off how some of this stuff works here. Now... Uh, storage, there is storage for the shield, uh, just like in the movie, you can just put it right onto his back. Now, there are magnets in these pieces right here on the shield, and he has a magnet right here and a magnet in the small of his back. So you just take the shield and, whoop, right there, just sticks onto his back. There you go. Storage! Yay! So you go, you can just, like, plop it right on his back like he does in the movie. There you have that. So, and the magnets actually hold, you know, they, they hold very well. I mean, that's not going to, it's not going to fall off. So, there you go. You can store the shield on his back like that, if you wish. So that's definitely a display option. And you can also have him holding his shield. Now, I will show off the, the shield, you know, cupping hand. I really don't know how this is supposed to work. I mean, obviously, as you can see, it's meant to hold the shield. Like this, but honestly, he can't actually, like, hold the shield up. I mean, maybe if, if he's holding it like a platter, I mean, yeah, he can hold it that way, but he's not supposed to hold it that way. He's supposed to hold it this way. And, and this way, he can't actually hold it. The only way I've kind of found to get it to sort of kind of work is to take the handle and flip it all the way out like this. And then get his hand in there and just kind of get the thumb to go over the handle right there. And that... Kind of, sort of works. It's not super secure, but, you know, it, it's a thing. It, it's a thing if you really want to, you know, pose him holding the shield like this. It's it's doable, but again, as you can see, it's not dead solid. So, I don't know what purpose this hand is really supposed to serve, but uh, I, I don't know. There you have that. Um, hmm. Now these hands, I also don't know really what they're supposed to be for. These are the ones, you can see, these are the ones that are meant for holding the shield that have the magnets in their hands, and this is the uh, the other set. And you can see how the grip is different there. It's more of a uh, more of a closed grip. And again, this is a case of, I really don't know what these hands are for. You know, it seems like it's maybe meant to kind of hold the shield like this and maybe have it tucked under his arm, but I tried that and it doesn't really work. And maybe for, like, shield throwing poses, maybe? I Some of the hands, I like... I really don't know what how I'm supposed to use them. I mean, the only thing I've kind of guessed is maybe these hands are meant to just kind of hold the helmet, maybe. Maybe that kind of doesn't really work all that well. Like that, you know? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I honestly... I honestly don't know. Because you can't even hold the helmet. With this. So, you know, there you go. Maybe. I, I don't know. So honestly... Don't know, uh, don't know how these hands are really supposed to be used. Um, don't know really how this hand is supposed to be used. A splayed out hand obviously is good for some action poses. Um, but we'll show off how we can get him to actually hold the shield. Now these are the hands, the ones that have the more open grip. These are the hands that have magnets right here. And they're very good magnets. Because, boom, you can throw them right on there. They'll stick. <laughs> so basically what you want to do here is... You want to pop off his hand. And one thing that's annoying about swapping out his hands is sometimes the wrist peg will come out with it, and this can be a pain in the butt to get out. And it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out. So give me one second. Bam! All right, got it. Right there. That's the only thing that's really annoying about this figure is just swapping the hands because sometimes those wrist pegs will come out with the hands, and they're a bit of a pain in the butt to get off. But once you remove that hand... You basically want to take the uh, the shield holding hand here. You want to flip out, flip out either one of the handles here, and then you just take his hand and just feed it through there like that. And again, there is that uh, that magnet right there on the back, so that'll hold that secure. And then you just plug the hand on. 
like that. And there is, and then the hand will fall right off, which means I did not have it plugged on properly. My mistake. I thought I heard it pop. There we go. Oops, nope. I, <laughs> I popped off the handle. Give me a second while I fix this. All right, there we go. I just had to pop that back on there. I just make sure I have his hand on securely, and I think I do. Okay, now that I have his hand on securely, now we can take the shield, put it back on his hand here, and there is a magnet right here on this on this black piece on his forearm, so that will that will uh, not clip on, but it will attach to that upper magnet right there, and hold that onto his arm, nice and secure, like so. There he is. Now he can wield his shield right there. And that looks pretty cool. I dig that. And of course, if you don't want to go through the trouble of actually feeding his hand through that handle, I mean, there's a magnet right there, so you can just take it and pop it right on. So, you know, you totally have the option, if you wish. But, there you have that. But, yeah, very, very cool. But just to show that off, yeah, if you don't if you don't want to go through the trouble of feeding his hand through it, all you have to do is go boop, and it sticks on just fine. And again, it's it's a strong magnet, so it won't fall off. So it's only up to you if you want to feed his hand through there or not. But um I think I'll I'll do it right. I think I'm gonna do it right. Oops. There we go. Let's get that back on there. Get on there. Get on there, Cap. There you go. There he is with a shield. Yay! Four shields. So, there you have that. So, of course, if you would rather have a helmetless Captain America, very easy to swap out the head. You just take the head, you just kind of tilt it at an angle, and then just pull it up, and the head will pop off. Right there. Then you take the unhelmeted head, and it just pops right onto that ball joint right there. Take it. Pop it on. And I think we got it on, did we? Yeah, there we go. There you go. There you have a helmetless Captain America. Now they give you this little this little tool right here. So if the collar kind of gets a little messed up, you can go in there and kind of fix the collar, kind of get it back up, pop his collar back up. But most of the time I just use my my thumb here and just kind of pull it back up if it gets a little pushed down. Usually does the trick just fine. There you go. Just like that. I think that's cool also. Again, another nice display option. And if you want to, you can, you know, pop this hand out and again, go through the trouble of <laughs> removing the peg from inside the glove, which is always such a pain in the butt. Be right back. Boom! All right, I got it out. That's the only thing that's really annoying about this figure is just getting this wrist peg out of the glove because it's really tight in there and it's kind of hard to get to it. But um, anyway, we'll just pop that back on. And we'll get the uh, the more closed grip hand in there. Like that. And see if we can get him actually holding the helmet here. Oops. No. See, again, I really don't know what the purpose of this hand is. I just, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. It seems like it should make sense, but it doesn't. It doesn't quite make sense. See what I mean? I like can't even... I'm trying. I'm trying, peoples. I'm trying. There we go. Hey, there we go. That works. <laughs> it only took half an hour, but I got him to do it. There you go. <laughs> and again, another cool display option if you wish. So there you have that. And just for a comparison, here he is with Iron Man. So you can see how the team is starting to shape up. So there's Cap and Iron Man right there together. Looking good. Looking very, very good. And here is Cap next to me. Aha. And I am just as good looking as Chris Evans in my own mind. Shut up. <laughs> but anyway, 
<laughs> as far as Captain America goes, um, very, very cool figure. Again, just a wonderfully done, wonderfully detailed figure. Again, this is my favorite design for Captain America's suit. Like, I, 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 I liked his suit design in the first Captain America movie. I actually really liked the way that suit worked, how the, just like the straps or what made the, uh, the red and white stripes. Um, I liked how that suit worked. I honestly did not like his suit in the first Avengers movie because it was a little too spandexy, and I just I didn't like the way it looked, and it just didn't kind of mesh with everybody else's look. Um, so I didn't really care for it. His suit in Winter Soldier was pretty cool, but it was a little bland, and I didn't really care for it either. But this suit I absolutely love. I think this I think this suit looks amazing. I love the design, and um, I hope for Civil War they at least keep the suit design at least close to this. I hope they don't change it up too much because I really love the look of this suit. But um, overall, very cool toy. Like I said, the only annoying thing about this figure is just the, getting the wrist pegs out of the gloves when they pop off. That's the only really annoying thing about this figure. Um, other than that, um, other than that, and honestly not knowing how to properly utilize some of the hands, I mean, other than that, um, I would still say it's it's a tremendously done figure. Um, you know, detail wise, just aesthetically, it looks amazing. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to having a shelf of Avengers. Um, I have them all pre-ordered. I'm going to be getting them all. I already have Black Widow. I have Hawkeye. I have Hulk on the way. Um, the only thing I'm not getting is the Hulk Buster. I'm not buying the Hulk Buster because I don't have the room for that humongous thing. And that thing is just way more money than I want to spend, honestly. <laughs> um, I mean, it looks fantastic. It looks awesome, but just way too big. And I don't have the space for it. I have nowhere to put it. And it just costs way too much. Like, I really don't want to spend that much money on that figure. Um, but uh, as far as the rest of the line goes for Age of Ultron, I'm definitely, I'm all in on it. I got them all pre-ordered, so... You will be seeing all of the Hot Toys Avengers on this channel because um, I love the movie and I love these figures. They're very, very cool. So if you would like a Captain America or any of Hot Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Hot Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Hot Toys Avengers Age of Ultron Captain America. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Who are you? And why do you weirdos keep wandering into my city? No, sorry, I uh, must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Oh. Hmm, I see you're the patriotic type. I'm a bit of a patriot myself. I even have my own national anthem. Would you like to hear it? Um, no, not really. My Gotham tis of thee, I defend this city of Batman I sing. No, God. Learn where my parents died from brutal homicide. If bad guys see me, they should hide. Let justice ring. What'd you think? I'm going to cry. I know! It's beautiful, isn't it? No, I mean, that was so bad, I'm going to cry. Are you serious? Yeah. Swear to God. SWEAR TO ME!